Yeah, I've always kind of had, you know, a bit of a belly. Um, when I was in high school, I did start to lose some weight. I started to become a little more interested in fitness. Uh, got down to actually around 200 pounds my senior year of high school. Then I came to college, uh, and the senior, or the freshman 15, turned into the freshman 50. Um, and I ended up really putting on a lot of weight over the last couple of years. Uh, I kind of knew what my weight was, but I wasn't really keeping up with it. I wasn't really, uh, you know, standing on any scales. Um, but this past February, uh, just for uh, fun, I wanted to check out my weight, see what I was at. I uh, used one of the scales in uh, the kitchen uh, at work and saw that I was 248 pounds. I had been a runner in high school and college a lot and uh, got away from it. And then I came back to UPMC and just being uh, around UPMC and Oakland in particular, kind of got the running bug. A lot of my younger colleagues talk a lot about running, so I decided that and the running bug kind of hit me again when they started talking about running, and that's how I got back into it. Marty's definitely a, an old school, no nonsense kind of guy. You know, he likes to just kind of get to it right away, uh, no thrills. Well, a lot of my younger colleagues, it takes them so long to get warmed up and ready to get out the door. We don't have to take our time to get the iPhone going. It's more fun, I think, just to get out and run, not to spend so much darn time worrying about our app and our iPhone and uh, finding the right tune. Uh, sometimes I do take, uh, take up some of his time, uh, but I think it's far overblown with how much time it actually takes. You know, it'd be okay if Ken picked the right music, too. You know, why don't we listen to Pittsburgh classes like Donny Iris or the Clarks? And as you can imagine, having a lot of weight to carry around uh, when, you, when you first start running, uh, it's, it's one of the easiest things you can do to lose weight, but it's also one of the most strenuous. Uh, so I felt like I would run for a minute and I'd already be winded, I'd be sweating. Uh, I felt like my form was horrendous. And so I sought out an expert and I sought out Dr. Vonda Wright and she was nice enough to let me take part in her class where I learned that a runner who only runs will become injured. You know, I've really been able to utilize all these resources that UPMC has uh, and, and utilize the technology that's available because that kind of fits my lifestyle and how I live. You know, I already have my phone on me all the time. Some of the resources I used were the, the My Health Online app and the My Health Online website. That ability to keep track of what I'm doing is out there and UPMC has allowed me to have them all kind of in one convenient location. I'm, I'm running with Ken and he's been a great training partner because he lets me start slow, lets me set the pace and hopefully I can keep up with him. Uh, and I think I'll get there. I just gotta work, work my way back into the sport. I'm pretty pleased with the progress I've made so far. I do enjoy running with Marty. I think uh, this experience has showed me that um, having as many motivators as possible, especially when you're first starting a running program, is really important. And plus, you know, with him wanting to, to, to say that he can beat me in certain races, doing push-ups, to add a little competitive aspect to it, I don't think there's any harm there. Uh, I think that, that really adds for, to both of us in our running styles.